do not fall for it do not it took me a bit of time to adjust because it was such a culture shock I remember the first week on Saturday we had 135 covers and I was having heart palpitations I was like what do you mean 135 covers in healthcare like 65 covers is like and then you're telling me you have 135, like more than double, like are you joking, like are you playing around, like uh, something wrong with you, like what's going on? <laughs> if we're using fish the whole, most of the time the whole fish is coming in, they're going to cut it, gut it, descale it. If we're using scallops, the scallops are going to come in, they're going to open them, remove them, clean them. So there was that whole philosophy, if we're, using carrot, if we're going to use carrot juice, the carrots are going to come in, we're going to peel them, juice them and then use the juice. So tell me, are, are you ready for your internship? I don't think I am. Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is going to be the second time you're seeing me in this Master Talent Are You Ready For Your Internship series. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about my experience living in Antwerp and working at Restaurant Veranda. As you know, I spent the first three months of my internship from June to September working at Hofkov and Basel in Basel. Then I moved to Antwerp from September to December to work at Restaurant Veranda in Antwerp. So, first of all, both restaurants were such a stark difference. I cannot tell you how shocked. It was really a cultural shock for me to walk into Veranda and see the difference between Veranda and Hofkov. Simply put, everyone at Veranda is a lot more laid back. Everything is really different everything oh, just done so differently anyways i'm going to make a whole different video about that it's like comparing my two internships what i liked what i didn't like and all that stuff today i just want to talk about veranda and so basically i got there um and it took me a bit of time to adjust because it was such a culture shock i remember the first week on saturday we had 135 covers and I was having heart palpitations. I was like, what do you mean 135 covers? In healthcare, like, 65 covers is like... <coughs> and then you're telling me you have 135, like, more than double. Like, are you joking? Like, are you playing around? Like, uh, something wrong with you? Like, what's going on? <laughs> and so, I was just so confused. But I have to say that all in all, I really enjoyed my brand experience. And let me take you through everything that happened. At Veranda, everything was really made from scratch. So it was really kind of like that farm to table concept. Basically, the vegetables came in super dirty, so you know that they came directly from the farm. If we're using fish, the whole most of the time the whole fish is coming in, they're going to cut it, gut it, descale it. If we're using scallops, the scallops are going to come in, they're going to open them, remove them, clean them. So there was that whole philosophy, if we're, using car if we're going to use carrot juice, the carrots are going to come and we're going to peel them, juice them, and then use the juice. So that really told me a lot about ingredients and I really liked having the opportunity to learn a lot more about the ingredients. Why did I choose Veranda? I really chose Veranda honestly because I know lots of people who had been there and from what they said to me it was a really cool concept. As you see in Eileen's video, which has already released in this series, go and watch it if you haven't already because Eileen is amazing. She says something about how the food at Veranda is not pretentious. It is really real and honest in many ways and it just, it is what it is. It is, it tastes amazing but there isn't any, there isn't too much pressure to try and like buff, buff it up. It's just done the way it is, clean, amazing, um, great tasting and just presented to you the way it is. And so that for me was very eye-opening and I really enjoyed um, 
being able to see that. Now, did I have any fears going to Veranda? The answer really is no. Did I have any fears going to Veranda? The answer really is no. After working at Healthcare for three months, I was really just like, yeah, I'm going to move to a new place, new people, but it's still work. So I wasn't really afraid to go there. I know sometimes some people at the Veranda thought I was a bit afraid because I didn't speak a lot, but that's just me when I go to a new environment. But when it comes to the actual work, I just knew that I was going to do whatever I had to do and just like push. I wasn't really afraid that I wouldn't be able to do the things I had to do. So yeah, and, and especially because I already heard Eileen's story and she had such a positive experience, I really wasn't afraid about having a negative experience. I was just more like trying to get used to the environment. One other thing I really liked about Veranda is that um, it's casual in a way that service and kitchen kind of have a very unified stand. So sometimes people from kitchen have to help service and so they know a lot of things about service and even sometimes when it's really not busy, service can help kitchen also. Apart from that, service and kitchen always have a briefing together before dinner service on every busy day. So the information that I shared is kind of shared um, in like a uniform manner, although that like, service can have their briefing, at, at their extra briefing afterwards, the general information is shared between everyone and so you're aware of what's going to happen during the service and you're like, it's communicated to you. I think that's another thing I liked about Veranda, although a lot of communication was done in Dutch, whenever anyone wanted me to know something, they will make sure they communicated it to me. When they write um, an order down, they make sure they communicate it to you and tell you so that you know. Then, I learned a lot working at Veranda because I got the opportunity to work with a lot of different ingredients and I also got a lot of, um, what's it called, freedom. I got a lot of freedom to make things from start to finish. So I saw a lot of things from the very beginning when it came as vegetables to the end when I was placing them on the appetizers. So I did um, the amuses and the dessert and I got to prepare almost everything for them. Yes, I worked with other people, Tina and Ben, but it wasn't as if they were keeping certain things from me that I couldn't do. It was just like, oh, what do you want to do today? Okay, fine, do that, I'll do this, and do that, I'll do this. And that was really encouraging to me because I felt like I could handle the, st the station by myself, um, even if one of them wasn't there because I had oversight over everything that was being done from start to finish. Most of the time, I was also the one who had to do the plating. Doing the service was really nice for me. As I was usually the one who has to do the plating during the service, I feel like I really felt like, you know, I was an integral part of what was going on and I could also help other dishes when I had time as well. Um, now, the next question I'd like to answer is how has my experience at Veranda shaped my expectations of what I want to do later on in life? Um, I really think that my experience at Veranda has really given me um, a different perspective on how restaurants can be run and it's also given me hope that you can have like this positive work-life balance because I saw that in um, Davy's life and especially um, the chef at Veranda. I really saw that he was able to handle and manage both work and life and work and family in like an equitable way and I think that really gave me hope for maybe if I want to open a restaurant later in life how to do things to make sure that they are balanced. Um, although I know that there's obviously been a lot of years of work I haven't seen, I feel like it's still like, yeah, it's still a source of hope for later on. And do I have any advice for anyone who's going to work at Veranda? Yes, I'll say don't take things too seriously. The Veranda team is amazing, they're so much fun. If you haven't seen my video about the spicy chili challenge at Veranda, you should definitely go and check it out. They like regularly, but I just like, okay, everyone's going to eat jalapeno. jalapeno. And then they will definitely, if you're an intern and you go and work there, they will try to make you eat a huge chili. Do not fall for it. Do not. If you have not watched my video about this, go and watch it so that you don't fall for this. <laughs> Apart from that, they were all really, really nice. Um, everyone was really warm and friendly. Everyone was, you know, I feel like, yeah, everyone was accessible. Everyone was polite. I never had any issues with anyone. Although they communicated a lot in Dutch, I feel like that's understandable. And they spoke English whenever they wanted me to understand something. They were always pleasant to like hang out with, always like making fun of something. Someone was always laughing in that kitchen. Someone was always doing something out of the ordinary. I learned a lot. Also, I forgot to mention in what I learned section, they also um, let me learn how to make the bread. Um, that was something I did not expect I would be able to do when I left there, but when I left Veranda, I could make like the bread right from the dough to the shaping and then to the baking. And that for me was a really big um, accomplishment. I remember the first time I tried, I was so afraid just because I didn't want to mess it up. But, you know, 
Pete really taught me well and I'm just grateful for everyone. I learned a lot working there. I'm so grateful for the communication skills I gained. I'm grateful for everything. I just enjoyed my time there. Of course, there were busy days. There was a weekend where we had 120 and then 150 people Friday, Saturday evening. We were out of our minds. We worked hard, but it was an enjoyable kind of work, and I'm so grateful to have worked there. So thank you, Veranda. Thank you, Master Talent, and thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any more questions about Veranda, Master Talent, working in Belgium, living in Antwerp, definitely send me a message on Instagram, comment down below, send me a message on Twitter, whatever you would like, but just reach out to me. Um, so thank you for watching this video, and share it with your friends and family who you think would enjoy it with who you think would learn from it if you have any culinary interns that you know any aspiring chefs that you know share with them and yes if you have any information that you'd like to let me know leave it in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't and thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys